Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly twin flame reading. So this is going to be for the energies checking starting tomorrow, which is uh, December 24th, Christmas Eve, all the way until Sunday, December 30th. So this is the deal with any kind of readings that you see on YouTube, you know, general readings. You're either going to resonate with the messages or you're not. So if you guys are not resonating with this reading right off the bat, it may be that the reading's just not for you this week and that's totally okay. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. It, you guys so let's just see what we've got going on for the masculine and the feminine the connection different things like that how spirit is working with us where we may be challenged this week things like that so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a deck for the masculine and the feminine i'm going to start with the masculine's energy first so i believe i'm going to use this deck here this deck is the after tarot so after tarot, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of themes for the masculine using my uh, Twin Flame Oracle deck. If you guys are interested, <clears throat> excuse me, in any of my decks, I'll put a link in the description box below. If you guys are international, email me directly. I'll put that information in the description box as well, and I'll send you a special link. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we've got here. What are some energies that the masculine may be in this coming week and so the tarot is going to just kind of give us a little bit of a clarification on what may be going on with these energies so let's see okay so we've got third party coming up so this could be an indication here and i don't want to alarm you know anybody so if you guys are not in a third party situation it just means that maybe this particular message may not be for you but third party does not need to be an actual person. And even if it is a person, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could technically be a job, a situation, family members, friends, influences. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick two more. We have bound. Very interesting. That's like the devil's energy. And we have offer. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what spirit is trying to tell us in regards to where the masculine is at this week. So third party, that particular, let me turn this down, it's getting a little loud. Sorry about that. Okay, so I created this card and it looks like a wedge. Okay, it's basically the corner of a building, but it does look like a wedge. And so again, it could be that the masculine, um, there's something going on that is kind of, you know, causing some sort of a wedge in his life. So let's go ahead and get a card associated with this possible wedge. Interesting, we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands energy is somebody who, you know, it does get a bad rap, unfortunately. It can represent the sign of Sagittarius or any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. I'm a Sagittarius, so I always hate to say that this card is non-committal. Um, I'm extremely committed, <laughs> so that doesn't really go for me or, you know, describe me as an individual. So I'm not trying to give Sagittarian a bad rap, but this kind of an energy here is somebody who might be in and out of your life or some sort of situation. They might be in between your life and then somebody else's life. They're just kind of not really wanting to settle down. This is more of a adventurous, restless kind of an energy. And so what I'm getting here is that this could be a disruption in the masculine's life. So if you're a masculine watching this, it could be perhaps that maybe this is some kind of an energy here that you're dealing with somebody else that's kind of in and out of your life. It's very unstable or it causes you to feel a little unstable. I definitely feel karmic though. I feel this karmic tie with the masculine. It's either a karmic lesson or just a karmic person that is in their life. And it might be why they're not able to make a commitment to their feminine because they're in this energy that's connected to the third party. So why don't we go ahead and get an energy that's connected to the bound? Interesting, we have Hierophant. Okay, so for some of you, this is a masculine that is uh, either married with children or is with somebody for conventional reasons, maybe religion. Maybe they're together just for the children. Maybe they're just trying to do the right thing. But whatever the situation is, somebody feels bound to this third party situation. And so it makes it maybe difficult for them to possibly offer their feminine something solid. Yeah, see, somebody's waiting for an offer, okay? So there, so somebody isn't necessarily taking any kind of an action. Even though the Knight of Wands is a very action-oriented card, 
it's combined with that third party. So it means that they can't really take a committed action. They're bound, they're, they're contracted either with another situation or karmic lesson currently. And they may be trying to act with integrity as well as what I'm also getting, trying to do the right thing, making decisions based on, well, this is just the right thing that I have to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay in this situation, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes people need to follow through with their commitments and do the right thing for possibly children or whatever the circumstances may be. So it doesn't have to be a negative, even though the person that might be watching this video is waiting on the masculine perhaps to leave a partner. Sometimes it's not always a negative that the masculine or this person, I guess, is trying to do the right thing. Others, that might not be the case. But all I know is that we've got a masculine that's coming through this reading that may just have some ties when it comes to a lesson or a karmic situation, perhaps a karmic partner. And what it's doing is it's actually causing some sort of a delay for an offer for this connection. They're waiting. For some reason, they're not taking action. They may be thinking about it. They may be thinking about making an offer, perhaps, or doing something, but it's like this is an energy of the Three of Wands where somebody's just kind of waiting. They're waiting to see what happens. They're waiting to figure something out. So just kind of see that the masculine may just be involved in something specific that is holding him back from his connection with this feminine. Okay, very interesting. So let's go ahead now and take a look at what the feminine's energy is for this coming week. And it makes a lot of sense that this might be coming up for those of you that are waiting on the masculine because he may be in some sort of a karmic situation. It's the holidays. Some people may decide that they're going to go ahead and spend time with their partners or time with children that are connected to other partners. And it makes, you know, the feminine feel a little, you know, slighted by that energy. That could be it as well. So let's go ahead and get into the feminine's energy. This right here is called the Before Tarot. And then we'll also get some cards from this deck here. Same thing, some themes for the week, for the feminine. Okay, so we have the material world. We have received. And we have grief. Well, that's not a great card, but let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so the material world, I created this card with the 3D world in mind, as in these are tangible things. This is the reality of a situation. This is ap um, opposite of 5D energy. Okay, so what's going on in the 3D world for the feminine? Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so this particular card here, especially in the Before Tarot, shows somebody, rather than already being in the boat and going towards calmer waters, this is the feminine who is wanting or thinking about possibly stepping into this boat in order to save herself from some sort of perhaps grief or some sort of a stressful situation. She's looking to go towards calmer waters. So this to me is this energy here that whatever may be happening for the feminine in the material world, we're going to have some sort of an opportunity, perhaps the assistance, because we can see in this card that somebody is assisting the other person in order to help them to bring them towards calmer waters, whether that just be the support of a friend, support of a family member, whatever that is, support from spirit, whatever it is, it's basically the assistance to help the feminine in the 3D world at this particular time, trying to help her come uh, go towards calmer waters. That's what I'm saying. Or just like a, a calmer state of mind, calmer peace of mind. What about received? Interesting. We have the nine of wands. The nine of wands is this energy here of being on guard. Okay. As we can see, this person has built up this fortress and there's this wolf that is trying to get in. So what's being received right now for the feminine is that she does need to protect herself. She does need to basically be on guard. And it could just be because there's something happening in the 3D world that's causing her to feel kind of like, ooh, that's a red flag or that's a warning. Maybe I should you know, maybe this doesn't have to happen is what I'm getting for the feminine because we're, we're just going to kind of disconnect or we're just going to kind of step away from a situation where we're kind of getting that red flag. So what about grief? 
See, look at this, you guys, the sun. So to me, it's like, this does not have to happen. So when I, when we see cards sometimes in readings, it doesn't mean that that is what is going to happen. This is just checking the energies of maybe the probable future. So what I'm getting here from spirit is that this does not have to happen. We do not have to go down this road. There may be something that comes through as in we receive guidance. We, we follow our intuition. We follow our gut instincts that tells us, hey, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't make that decision. Maybe I shouldn't say, this. Maybe I shouldn't open my mouth. Maybe I should not go down that road. Maybe I shouldn't do what it is that I was planning on doing. We're going to get some sort of illumination with the sun. So we're going to be able to turn any kind of frowns upside down. We're going to basically be able to bring the light um, over the darkness. I'm just getting here that the, the light is going to win the darkness this coming week. Okay. And the sun is about children. It, it's about happy times. It could be for some of you that you're just spending time with family. You're spending time in that energy where you're just being a child as in you are just having a good time. You're having fun. Instead of being in this grief six or stricken state, you're choosing to be happy this coming week. You're not going to fall maybe into old patterns or old past behaviors, which may be before you would have dealt with something and gotten very depressed and this coming week you're just like you know what no i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that this time around i'm going to go ahead and look at the positives in my life so maybe not everything is exactly the way that i want it to be but that's okay i'm just going to go ahead and choose to be positive i'm going to choose to look at the sunny side of the situation rather than focusing on the grief and the darkness so i really see that the feminine is going to be assisted not only from the divine this week, but also from friends and family. And it's really going to help pull her out of anything that is keeping her feeling low vibrational or in the dark. It's beautiful. And right when I just said that, it was 11-11 on my camera. Love it. Okay. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the connection. What is the connective energy for this coming week? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, let's see here. We're going to use these two decks. This right here is called the uh, Oracle Tarot by uh, Lucy Cavendish. And we're going to go ahead and combine it here with the... What is this called? I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm having a little bit of a brain freeze here. Wisdom of the Oracle. Yeah by Colette Baron Reed. That's it. Okay. Connective energies for this week. Okay. Well, we do have the four of pentacles. Okay. Now this deck is a little bit different than the traditional meaning. So like normally I'm going to see the four of pentacles as that energy of somebody who's just kind of being, you know, a little rigid, somebody who's might, might be feeling kind of stuck, like they're holding on to something and they don't want to let go of something, but this does say steady process. So this just means that, you know, even though it might seem that people, I got to turn this on. I'm sorry, you guys, it's too much. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I have just had crazy songs pop up all week. Okay, so again, steady pro process. Doesn't say progress. It says steady process, as in this is going to be a process. It's not something that's going to be rushed. And I know so many people are tired of hearing that. And what I want to say about that is this. Um, there are all kinds of different readers out there available on YouTube, and we all have something different to offer the collective. And so it may be that the energy that I'm tapping into this week is for people that are really feeling stuck or things are not progressing in their connection. And that's okay. It doesn't make it low vibration. What it makes it is that this might be a little bit of like a tough love or some of that light that you need in this dark period. That's okay. Not everything can always be sunshine and rainbows, but we did just get the sun for the divine feminine. So a lot of divine feminines watch my videos. And so I'm really hoping that you're seeing here that by choosing to be happy this week, I feel like that's the most important message. So what we have here for the connection, like I said, four pentacles, four pentacles is that energy where it's going to be a steady process. It's going to be some things that need to be let go of first. We just saw the masculine. He is bound to a situation that may be difficult for him to let go. So obviously, until he has let go of that situation, it's going to be difficult for our connection to come together. And it's not like we're waiting on the masculine in order to do this. See, round and round. So what I'm getting here is that Whoever I'm connecting to, as far as this reading goes, 
you may have been going round and round in the same circles with this masculine, with this particular situation for, you know, I don't want to say a long time. It could be a long time for some of you, but others, it may have just been recent. But this is kind of like this energy here where we're not really getting anywhere. So it's an unfortunate energy. So this is the thing. I'm really getting this energy here of instead of possibly going down this road, you know, where we're just kind of staying stuck. We're being encouraged from the divine to basically step into this boat and go towards calmer water. So for some of you, it may be that maybe it is a little bit of a energy of taking a break and that's okay. Or maybe kind of just, you know, putting up a little bit of a, uh, not a fortress as in this is a negative. It just means that just stay on guard because maybe there is a third party situation that are, that's going on right now with another individual. And this is something that's only going to cause you grief. The more that you focus on it, the more that you participate it or to participate in it, etc. So that's what it is. So um, until this can get cleared up, it's kind of like you definitely don't want to wait for this as in you don't want to just kind of sit in this energy. OK, you want to be in that energy and you can wait for your connection. If you guys are desiring union, you can definitely wait for this connection, but have a good time in the meantime. There's no reason to be in this energy. You know, work on yourself. Do some things that you want to do. Travel for some of you, something like that. OK, and some of you are just looking to just maybe go in another direction and that's OK, too. There are no rules here. It's what every it's just what everybody feels is best for them. OK. So let's go ahead and get another energy here for the connection. Yeah, see, we have reflection. You know, it might be a time this week that people are really reflecting on this connection. Okay, so basically I feel like the masculine is kind of looking at his situation. He is assessing his situation. He's looking at the cups and the choices that he has and he is reflecting and he may be going round and round and spinning those wheels, but maybe unfortunately not able to make a decision at this time. And the feminine, she's also doing the same thing where she is in this energy where she is trying to figure out how to basically move along instead of going round and round in the same circle. So she's kind of taking inventory. I kind of feel like this card here is like I'm taking inventory I'm taking stock of what the connection is where it's at what we're going to do things like that yeah we have regeneration so again this is about regenerating ourselves this is about basically coming through the ashes coming through the dark times because maybe there has been some sort of dark energy here within this connection when I say dark I don't mean negative I just mean challenging you know it's been hard it's been like gosh you know it's almost it's just like a survival like god I'm barely hanging in there by a thread when I see the nine of wands that to me is an energy of somebody who is just a survivor somebody who has really hung in there through the difficult times. So a lot of you who are resonating with this reading, of course, you are, um, you know, invested in this connection. You are invested in this energy, of course, with your masculine and wanting this connection to basically be a success, of course. But the thing is, it's kind of like we've got to figure out, you know, how are we going to survive in this situation? We got to do what's best for us at the same time too. So even though we want to hang on to the connection and do everything that we can to basically assist our masculine, we're almost being asked to, of course, you know, choose ourselves. It's kind of like if you're in an airplane, what is the thing that they go over? You've got to put your oxygen mask on first and then you assist the person that's beside you as in a child or somebody that is, you know, struggling. So it's kind of like we need to take a look at our own healing or our own just stuff before we can rescue someone else. And again, it's not even about rescuing because, you know, in order for people to learn something, rescuing them doesn't really do a lot of good. People do have to come to their own conclusions. So I guess the word that I want to choose is assist. If we want to assist our masculine or maybe the feminine, if you're a masculine watching this video, we do have to basically kind of look at our own inventory first. We have to basically take a look at our own stock first and basically see, are we surviving? Are we just kind of you know, hanging in there by a thread, you know, it's about rejuvenating our energy is what I'm getting here from spirit. So the connection, 
this coming week it does see it does seem that people will be in that six of cups energy where they may be nostalgic they may be thinking about something they might be kind of going back and forth whether or not they should move forward and carry on or they should basically you know just kind of hang in there for you know one last time there could be some energy that's going on and back and forth in people's heads they're going round and round they're not quite sure they don't want to be stuck but at the same time they don't want to let go so i'm just kind of getting this energy here where people are just a little um a little confused as to what they want to do moving forward and i think that it makes sense because we are coming into a new year and for some of you you may have gone round and round all year and you're just like do i really want to go another year being in this situation where i'm waiting on this person to make a decision of course that is a personal choice that's up to the people that are watching this video but all i know is that we've got to take stock of our own inventory first before we can really assist another so i don't know if that's going to make sense to some of you out there but I'll, i get that question a lot how can i help my masculine how can i basically assist with his healing and the thing is you know you always have to ask yourself have you done what you need to do you know are you sure you're at that position where you're detached from you know an outcome why do you want to assist the masculine is it out of unconditional love or is it to get union so there's just like some questions that's why we have all these questions here it's the questions as to why we want this what we're doing here what it means are you know something like that there's a lot of questions this coming week and it's for both people it's for both people but the six of cups of course is a card of nostalgia it's a card of thinking of possibly reuniting or being with the one that you love so I definitely see positive energy there, but I also see this energy of still people having a hard time or a difficult time letting go and going round and round in a situation. So that's what we have for the connection. So why don't we go ahead and take a look and see what is the biggest challenge for the masculine this week? We pretty much already saw it in the energy, just where he's at this week, but let's just take it a step further and see. This is the shot or the darkness and light tarot. What's the biggest challenge for the masculine this week? This is the twin flame shadows. We have a robotic. You know, I get this sense that the masculine, and this isn't going to resonate for everybody. If you're masculine and you're a feminine watching this, if they're in a third party situation as in they're with somebody for conventional reasons, that they're literally just robotic and going through the motions because that's what they need to do in order to be able to survive. They're just kind of going through the motions for some reason. Okay. So it's coming through as a block. Yeah. See, five of blades, five of swords, five of swords is my least favorite card in the tarot deck just in case anybody ever wanted to know if you ask me what's the worst card to me it's five swords not even death touches it or ten of swords ten of swords is like at least something's over this is this is like mental this is like games this is some kind of behavior here where somebody is trying to basically be the survivor or they're, they're it's like a card of manipulation so i'm not here to say that the masculine is technically in this energy but it could be that right now he is being either controlled or manipulated by a third party situation in his life and so what's causing him to just kind of shut down and basically be in robotic mode it may be that he's unhappy with a situation or a partnership but again we see that he feels bound to it and he feels like he can't break this behavior or break this cycle i see all these like little you know cranks and things it's like a cycle there's a difficulty with getting out of a cycle so the masculine is really struggling this week when it comes to a cycle breaking a cycle or breaking a karmic pattern or partnership Hope that makes sense. So again, if it's not a partnership, it's a behavior. So the robotic is kind of like, would be a sword's energy, meaning that this is somebody who they're ha they have their defenses up. It's easier to be in this energy of being hard as nails, tough as nails than it is to wear their heart on their sleeve. So it's kind of the card of the survivalist. So let's see what the feminine is in this week. What's challenging her the most? We have non-action. You know, this card to me if i had to choose a card in the tarot to go with it i would um 
kind of choose like the six of cups. And the reason why is because this woman, you know, she's taking the time. She's just kind of looking at the water. She's reflecting, you know, she might even be nostalgic. So I kind of get here that there might be this energy this week for the feminine that might be blocking her as in she needs to take some sort of action, but there's something that's stopping her. Maybe it's her emotions. Maybe it's her, you know, dependency on something. Maybe it's an addiction for her, uh, some sort of a behavior, but whatever it is, it's like there's some kind of an action that she needs to take, but she isn't taking action. She's not taking action. Yes. Yeah, oh my God. Look at this. The eight of swords. This is a card of somebody who is not able to move. But what I want to say feminines is this. Okay. This isn't supposed to be a doom and gloom here. It's just basically showcasing where the masculine and feminine may be stuck this coming week. This is the, the feminine's energy where she's just maybe her own mental thoughts are confining her. This actually is an illusion. It's not even real. It's just the way that you are processing information or the way that you are responding perhaps emotionally to a situation. And that might be keeping you stuck and bound. So again, Spirit really is telling us here that we need to break this pattern. We need to break the cycle, just like the masculine needs to break some sort of a cycle that he's in as well. So I have some sort of thinking cycles, patterns with either thought processes, behaviors, or due to third party situations that are really standing in the masculine and feminine's way, or at least affecting how they're thinking and feeling this coming week. All right. So let's go ahead and get some messages here that the masculine has for his feminine. What does he want his feminine to know? What are some things he wants his feminine to know? So this right here is the twin flame messages deck. What does he want his feminine to know? We're going to go ahead and get some topics off of here just to kind of see what it may have to do with. A masculine wants the feminine to know something about purging. So again, we already know that the masculine does need to let go of something or he does need to emotionally open up because he's in that robotic energy. Let's see what he has to say about it. Will, would you reject me? Very interesting. So for some of you feminines out there, he might feel that if he decides to possibly leave a situation that he's comfortable in and invest in a new connection with you, is it going to work out? That's just what I'm getting here. That's not going to resonate for everybody, which is why I'm going to draw three different cards here, because maybe one of the messages is for some of you and the others are not. But there is this energy here that if I let go of something, will you will you take me in? Will you love me? Is this going to work? So there's a worry or some sort of a nervous energy that's attached to the masculine if he lets go or he opens himself up. We have commitment. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So this could be a message for some of you out there that the masculine just could not commit to you, if you're, you know, feminines, that he could not commit to his feminine. Or because of a commitment, he's not able to basically be with you at this particular time. So again, it isn't you. Please don't take my decision to possibly stay in a commitment, stay in a karmic relationship personally. It's not you, it is me. I need time to figure this out. Or again, if it's not, a third party situation, my commitment phobe issues, my issues that I have, my hangups, my defects. It's about me. It's not about you. Hope that makes sense. And the third message, we have fresh start. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. So there are some energies here that are coming through for the masculine this week for, for you know, um, this entire lineup that is in a little bit of that darker energy. Now remember, the masculine was coming through in that bound energy. So it might just be that the masculine's fears are really getting to him this week. And so it's causing him to feel like, gosh, I don't even know if I can even bring this fresh new start. I'm not sure if I can start over. I don't know if I can let something go. I don't know if I can hit the restart button and start over. I don't know if I can do that. I might just feel like I'm just too damaged. Like I'm too old. I'm too set in my ways. Or you know what? I've been with this other person for so long. I just don't know if I can do this. There's some kind of an energy that's tied to the masculine, really just buying into his fears this week. Okay. And remember, these can, things can shift and change. Um, nothing is set in stone, but this is just what I'm getting for the projection for the week. All right. So let's do the same for the feminine. What does the feminine have to say to her masculine? 
we have karmic partner. So the feminine has something to say about this karmic relationship or the karmic situation that her masculine is currently in. Let's just see what it is. I feel safer in the silence. Very interesting. So it could be that some of you feminines out there have pulled away from your masculine during this time that he is in this karmic cycle and you just feel safe for being in the silence. It's like you don't want to be involved or you just you just want to pull away. And I did see this early on in the reading, you guys, with that six of swords energy for the feminine this week. You know, she doesn't want to be in this energy of grief anymore. She doesn't want to be negatively tied to something that's causing her to feel that grief. So she's trying to step away from it. So that's what the feminine is trying to explain to the masculine is that I just feel safer in the silence right now. I would just rather not be talking and let you do what you need to do. So that way I can, you know, have a shot of happiness too. And it doesn't mean that the feminine is planning on leaving the masculine in the dust or, uh, you know, creating any kind of, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, you know, where, uh, where you give somebody an ultimatum. It's not about that. It's just that she's got to she's got to take care of herself. And so she's telling her masculine that, you know what, if I'm not speaking to you or if I'm pull, pulling away from you, it's because I feel better in the silence. I just feel safer. I'm afraid of this energy. I'm afraid I'm going to get hurt. I'm afraid you're never going to be able to get past this karmic situation. So I would rather just be in the silence during this period of time because it's too painful for me. That's what I'm getting. And yeah, we have surrender. So what does she want him to know about surrender? You are an angel. So the thing is, even though she might surrender the masculine or she might surrender basically, you know, speaking or, you know, putting energy towards the masculine right now, she wants him to know that he is still with her energetically. So even if, you know, let's just say the masculine is afraid that the feminine is just going to basically go into another direction or he's going to lose his feminine forever because he can't make a decision right now, regardless of the situation, even if she surrenders what she's doing, she's just surrendering in the 3D world. Okay. And that's why we got this earlier for the feminine in her energy we had something about the 3d the material world so she's letting go of something in the 3d world but she's taking the energy of her masculine with her and she is going to connect with the masculine in more of a 5d way that's just what i'm getting for for this energy here for some of you okay and so you feel safer in the silence and safer being in that 5d energy with your masculine than the 3d right now for some of you yeah we have unawakened so what does she have to say about unawakened no other compares to you, even though you're unawakened, even though there might be some things that you're not wanting to deal with or are not wanting to re realize at this point, that's okay. No other compares to you. I know that this connection is divine. I know that we're twin flames. I know that you are my divine counterpart and maybe you and I will be together one day. Maybe we won't regardless. All I know is that I am blessed by this connection. And I, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm going to do with it here on out, but you want to know what? All I know is that anything that I'm holding on to that's affecting me in a negative way, I'm willing to surrender it. I'm willing to go into possibly 2019 with just a little bit of a different energy, just a shift, just a little bit of a shift. So while the masculine may be unawakened to certain things, and this is not indicating that the masculine is fully unawakened. This just means that there might be a couple of things where he's not as ascended as, as his feminine. He may not be as awakened as she would like him to be. But the thing is, no other compares to you as in, I will still carry this love. I will still carry this energy with me. I will still continue to possibly work on this connection, even if we are not together in the 3D world. I think that's beautiful. So I feel like the feminines that I'm tapping into right now, it's like you are really surrendering something here. You're surrendering your worries. You're surrendering any kind of negative attachments that you may have to your masculine or this karmic, you know, kind of situation that he may be in. You're willing to kind of step aside until he can release something and grow. That's it. So that is amazing. You guys, I love this for you. So if you're feminine watching this, that's beautiful. So if you're a masculine watching this, this just means that your feminine is willing to step aside in order. And it's not about she's willing to let you just do what you need to do in some ways. Yes, but not in a disrespectful way as in she's not going to go round and round waiting for you, you know, waiting in the in the in the distance while you basically screw around and do whatever. I'm not saying that kind of an energy. It's a different energy. She's more evolved than that. And she's willing to basically move forward with her own energy, her own life, her own growth, and, you know, basically bless her masculine along the way. That's what I'm getting here. She is in a high vibrational energy. I love it. 
Okay, you guys. So why don't we go ahead, now that we have that energy, let's just go ahead and see how the masculine is viewing the feminine this week. Okay, because a lot of people like to know that. How is the masculine viewing the feminine this week? Let's see. How is he viewing the feminine? We just got this card to pop out. Um, we have the Eight of Swords, but do you see how it wanted to flip out even though all of these cards are upright because I just didn't feel like using reversals today. I love this and I'll tell you guys why. I'm sure you guys already know. We just saw that the feminine is in this energy here. We did, right? Where is it? I'm not going crazy, am I? Hold on, you guys. Where is it? Here we go. It's right here. Eight of Blades, non-action. Do you see how the masculine is seeing the feminine this week? Feminine's watching this video. He's actually seeing you release yourself. He's actually seeing you move forward. That is so positive. So that's the reason that that card popped out and it wanted to come out reversed. This is an instance where a reversed card is actually very positive because it means that we are releasing, we are surrendering. So this is the deal. Even if your masculine is not seeing you with his physical eyes, this is an energy that he is picking up on you or with you, Divine Feminines, this week because you are releasing, because you are surrendering, because you are basically not willing to be a part of drama. If there's drama, you're not willing to just basically put your life on hold anymore and you're not doing it in a callous way you're actually doing it in a very positive way because you have that sun you have the illumination you realize that by being in the dark is no longer going to serve you that darker energy doesn't do anything but keep you stuck it's holding you back so that's how the masculine is seeing the feminine it's very beautiful what else do we have Seven of Swords. Very interesting. Okay, let me pick one more card and just see if we have a little bit of a combination. You know, I have two sevens. This is definitely about movement, okay? This is definitely about movement. But what I'm getting from this energy now that I see this chariot, because the chariot is very positive. The chariot is about moving forward with great determination. And you're just, you know, you're, you're moving forward in a very positive way. I really feel because of this is a major arcana, it's really outweighing or kind of overshadowing the negativity that the Seven of Swords usually has um, connected to it. What I am getting, though is that the masculine is viewing the feminine is moving forward. He's not feeling this energy from her this coming week as holding on or, or you know, being attached in an unhealthy way. No, he's feeling a shift. He is either seeing this with his own two eyes or he is feeling this energetically that the feminine is moving forward with her life. Now, the seven of swords is an energy here where maybe we're not being we're not putting all of our cards on the table. And so it's a little bit of that enigmatic kind of an energy, a mystery. And that's what I'm really picking up on for the feminine this week is that she's not revealing all of her actions. So it does come across as a little sneaky, kind of like the masculine doesn't exactly know what the feminine's doing, but that's because she's not sharing all of those details. And it doesn't have to be in a deceptive way, but it's just basically sometimes it's not always the best idea to lay everything out. Sometimes it's good for another person to have to kind of figure the mystery out because maybe that helps them to get on board with something. Maybe it helps for them to realize something through this kind of mystery type of an energy. So the way that the, the masculine is viewing the feminine this week for sure is that she is moving forward. And that is amazing. Okay. I love that. So how is the mas feminine viewing the masculine? Sorry, you guys. Okay, so the feminine is seeing the masculine here as the Page of Swords. We have the Emperor. And we have the Two of Wands. So she is viewing him as kind of like not making a decision, needing to make a choice, but not making a decision. I also see a husband and I see a child that's going to resonate for some of you out there and it won't with others, but we've already had third party karmic situations, people perhaps together for conventional reasons. So if this message is for you, take it that way. Um, so again, some feminines are, are viewing their masculines as needing to take charge and make some sort of decision, but they're also seeing him try to do the honorable thing when it comes to children, perhaps. But I'm also getting this energy here where maybe the feminine 
feminine is viewing the masculine as this is how she really wants her masculine is in this emperor's energy, which is the ultimate divine masculine energy. But she sees him still as that page of swords where he's not really taking a lot of action. He might be saying the words, but he's not actually doing anything. He's the actions speak louder than words. And we can see here that the two of wands is here, whereas the masculine is not making any movement towards making a choice. So it's that round and round energy. So she's not seeing a lot of change for her masculine this week. And that might be, again, why she is in that energy of, okay, that's fine. No problem. You're stuck. You want to stay stuck or, you know, you need to do things your way. No problem. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to basically live my life in the meantime. That's the kind of energy here. And she's not doing it in a manipulative or a controlling or an ultimative type of way. No. These choices and what she is doing is coming from a high vibrational standpoint. So feminines, if you're in this energy this week, embrace it. It is positive. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some um, possible future energies for this connection. And then we're going to go ahead and end the reading with some messages from the divine. Okay, so let's get some possible future energies for this connection. So let's go ahead and tap into these cards here which is called the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. Possible future energies for the connection. Okay, we have the Magician. So this is what I'm getting here. Even though things might kind of be in that energy where people are feeling a little alone, um, they're still going to manifest things. They're still going to basically come out of that energy. And it's just like I saw before, either we can choose grief, or we can stay in that grief stricken state, or we can create, we can go into the sunshine, we can go into the light, we can look at the sunny side of a situation. And that's just what I'm seeing here. So even though things may not take a turn this week to 100% just do a complete 180, that's okay. We're not going to stay stat or stay sad. We are going to create, we are going to do the things that we, that we can do in order to make the best out of a situation that may not be 100% the way that we want it to be. Yeah. See, there's something about somebody that has to make a choice. Okay. So it's like this choice for the masculine is still maybe continuing on this week, this next coming week. Okay. They're, they're still either not making a choice or there's this energy here where somebody really does have to make a choice. They really do. They have to make a choice because things seem to be a little stagnant or not moving forward. Yeah. See eight of cups. Wow. You know, I really see that this is the feminine. Do you see that woman in the background? I really see that that's the feminine walking away from the masculine. I've seen it throughout this entire reading. And when I say walking away, you guys, this is not you abandoning your twin flame connection or your masculine. This is you making a choice for your own highest good. As in, you're not going to stay stuck or stagnant waiting on your masculine any longer. You're going to move forward and you're just basically going to live the life that you need and want to live. And that is okay. Twin flames definitely should be doing that in order to keep the vibration high of their connection. So again, the masculine has some choices that he needs to make. And it might be kind of sad that maybe he's not making that choice right now, but that's okay. You have the choice, actually. It's like, what I just got from spirit is that a lot of you may be thinking that you need to wait on your masculine to make this choice, but no, you can actually make the choice right now and take that, that, um, that energy into your own hands and make the choice to walk away and disconnect and go towards something else right now. You can do that. Okay. That's beautiful. And we have C, slow and steady. Okay. So remember how we got steady process earlier? Now we have slow and steady. So even in the future energy, it kind of looks like maybe we're making some choices that are more in alignment with what's going to make us happy rather than this connection suddenly coming together. But we do have completion of a cycle. This is the world. So there is some kind of a completion here. There is some type of a new door opening up. So I feel like there is a possibility perhaps this week that maybe by the disconnection of the feminine, disconnecting from her masculine, it may cause the masculine to want to basically start a new chapter with her. And again, it's not about a game. It's not about doing this so you can get you know your masculine to come back. But I really feel like the feminine is going to maturely and in a very high vibrational energy disconnect from her masculine 
masculine and she's doing it for herself. And it's kind of like it's recognized by the universe and by the connection and the masculine to basically maybe want to start a new chapter, maybe go into next year with a new fresh set of eyes and maybe actually make a commitment towards this connection. So I'm really getting an energy for a lot of different people out there. I feel like some people, this could be a fresh new start. You know, we're closing the old chapter off and let's go into the new year with this new energy. And others, you might be choosing to choose yourself for a little bit of time. And I think that either one of those choices obviously are going to present for some of you and others, you know, with whatever happens, you'll know what to do. That's just what I'm getting. But I'm getting here that people are no longer willing to be in that energy of just basically staying in the dark. They don't want to stay in the dark. They want to be in the light. They want to create. They want to make choices. And the choice that some of you may have to make is that you're just going to kind of move forward in another direction for a period of time, and you're just going to be doing you. And others, people might make a choice to be together, and then you have a whole new chapter coming through. Beautiful. And that slow and steady could have been like, God, it's been such a long time. It's been such a slow and steady process. But here we are. We have made it. Something like that. It's very beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some messages from Spirit on everything. So this right here is called the uh, Spirit. I'm oh, sorry. Science from Spirit Love Oracle. I created it and I couldn't even remember what the hell it was called. <laughs> We have black. So again, there there is some darkness that spirit is saying. We're, we're all made up of dark and light. So there is this energy here of light and dark throughout this reading. We have the sun and we also have the energy of grief. Okay, so it is all about our choice. We can choose to stay stuck in the dark or we can release and surrender and go towards the light. So the choices are there. We also have promise. So there is some kind of an energy here of diamond promise that again, I keep getting this energy here that some of the masculines and it could even be maybe some of the feminines, you know, I didn't even really take that in consideration, even though more of this energy was connected to the masculine. But there is something about commitment that people made a promise, they made a commitment through marriage, obviously a diamond is supposed to be forever, that sort of thing. So there could be this energy here that's on the table. And we have energy alignment names. So a lot of you uh, may be seeing your masculine or your feminine's name this week. And this is this energy here where you're in alignment with the energy of your connection for sure. Um, but there could be this energy of choosing the dark or the light and kind of battling our thoughts. And I did see for the feminine, she could be in that grief stricken state. She could stay stuck in the eight of swords energy, or she could break out of that energy, rebel against this energy and go towards the light. Okay. And get in alignment with the proper energy, which is the light of this, you know, situation, the light of her connection. Um, and I'm also getting too, it's kind of like maybe somebody is rebelling against the promise, the contract that was made with their twin flame. So it could be that there's a little bit of that. So let's go ahead and go into some other energies here. Let's go ahead and get some angel answers. This angel answers deck was created by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. Look for a sign, okay? Interesting, names and signs. So there's something about seeing names this week. It's gonna give you some sort of a sign of something, okay? You're gonna know or understand something when you see these names or you you just see someone's names, name perhaps. We also have compromise. So again, you know, there's something about needing balance, needing to be nor, it's, okay. I'm, I'm, and I don't want to argue with anybody because I get a lot of people that want to argue with me about stuff. Okay, we're all made up of dark and light, <laughs> okay? Each one serves its purpose. This is something about balance, balancing the dark and light this week. Yes, we definitely want to choose the light is what I'm getting here, but don't shame yourself because you have been in a dark energy. Don't shame yourself because sometimes you might not always be in the light. Um, so there's this energy here where, you know what, we just kind of have to compromise with ourselves. We have to compromise like what, what is going to suit us the best? What is going to basically be the best thing for us at this particular time? So we have to kind of compromise with our, our, our counterpart. We have to see things from their perspective too, that maybe, Hey, you know what? They have made some sort of other commitment and they've got some choices that they need to make. So 
Maybe we're not going to compromise our own happiness anymore by waiting on them. But at the same time, we realize that they have to compromise. Like we have to compromise with what it is that they need to do, you know? And again, it's like, you got to use your discernment. If you're in a connection with somebody that's just been giving you the runaround for years, mm, there might be an issue there. As in, maybe we need to take some drastic measures and maybe go into another direction and try to live our, you know, live our lives in a different way, you know, while somebody figures it out. Sometimes sitting around and waiting and being super understanding can sometimes even be a little bit of a um, enabling energy. So we have to kind of weigh the pros and cons, weigh the scales of the situation, kind of figure figure something out, and uh, and and just kind of figure out what we want to do. Do we want to do we want to fight for it? Do we want to look at it in the negative? Do we want to let this darkness take us over? Do we want to compromise our own? our own happiness any longer? Are we in the energy of lack? Are we pissed off because we're waiting for this person to leave another person or to figure something out and they're just not doing it? So it's kind of like this energy here that yes, you know, that's, there's this contract. People made a promise to one another in order to basically carry out this twin flame connection, but maybe somebody's just not on board or unawakened at this time. And so somebody's just like, well, this is bullshit. And so people are getting pissed off. And now they're in that black, dark energy, which is lack, rebellion, and pessimism. Now they're just pissed off. So I'm getting here from spirit that what they're trying to tell us here is that if this connection is compromising your well being, you've got to think about that. And it doesn't mean you've got to chuck it. You got to forget all about this twin flame connection that this is, you know, not for you. Well, no, what I'm getting here is that you've got to kind of figure out what you're doing on this twin flame journey and what it means to you and how you can basically derive the light and the high vibration of this connection rather than being stuck in a dark state because the dark state is actually only going to keep you stuck. And we're supposed to take any kind of energy with any kind of connection and really try to transmute that into more of a, a lighter energy. Sorry, I got to let my cat out. Yeah. So there's an opportunity is what Spirit's saying. We've got to look at things from other people's perspective. We've got to basically be willing to compromise that maybe now is not a time for people to actually, you know, make this decision towards this connection at this particular time. So we've got to will it, we've got to be willing to compromise or we have to be willing to no longer compromise our happiness on the account of another person. So I just kind of feel like it can go both ways. Whatever message is resonating with you guys more is what spirit wants you to take within the next few weeks. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what may be coming up in the next few weeks. What may be coming up in the next few weeks? What may be coming up in the next few weeks? See, this right here is nostalgia, reflection, and tradition. This is the Hierophant's energy. So what about the Hierophant's energy? Now we have the three of wands, dreams of change. Yeah, dreams of change. Okay, so something may be changing in the next few weeks when it comes to somebody's uh, commitment. Again, this has come through very strong for the masculine of the situation that maybe they're in some sort of a third party situation. And maybe now we have dreams of change as in maybe somebody's dreaming about making a change. We actually saw that the masculine was in the three of wands energy. Whereas he's thinking about it, but he might not be doing it. So maybe this is Spirit's way of telling us that within the next few weeks, something might change. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. This right here to me is like the masculine choosing the feminine. So this just goes to prove to you that not all of these readings that are done are going to basically, um, you know, like, okay, there's no, there's no connection coming, you know, we're all just basically just it stuck in that energy. No, there are some twin flames. I feel that within the next few weeks, as in the beginning of the new year, there is like some sort of restart button as in you guys are coming into union. And I don't want to be, you know, one of those people that are like, oh my God, you know, union's on the horizon and get everybody's hopes up. And then it's just kind of like dashed if it doesn't happen. But it's like, some of you, it's it, it takes this disconnection in order to bring somebody to their their senses. 
And so some people are afraid to do that. Some people are afraid to disconnect and kind of step away and maybe choose another direction because they're afraid they're going to lose it. But this is the thing. If you're afraid you're going to lose it, then it's not yours to begin with is the way that I look at it. So it's like you have to have that unwavering faith that this connection here, that this this connection is, is magic, that this connection has the ability to basically surprise you, <laughs> um, that miracles can occur. And I just see this energy here that the um, masculine, because this is connected to him, that's just what I'm getting here, within the next few weeks, the masculine, uh, remember, nostalgia, reflection, thinking about his feminine, here she is, the feminine, this is dreams of change, I want to make a change with my feminine, I want to make some sort of a, a, a just something new, I want to do something different, I want to do something different, wow, wow. <laughs> Basically, this energy here of maybe getting in alignment with your energy and making some sort of a commitment and promise, whereas things have been lack and pessimistic and somebody's been fighting against this connection, they're actually choosing this connection. Wow, that, that is just amazing the way that that came through. So within the next few weeks, some of you guys, you're masculine. If you're a feminine watching this, it's like you somebody's making a choice towards the feminine. So I hate to make such a profound, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, prediction like that, but I, I'm just getting that. That's amazing. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some messages here from the, uh, angel prayer cards. Yeah. From Kyle Gray. Speak your truth. Archangel Gabriel. It says, thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. So speak your truth. It's like in the energy here where maybe the masculine does need to speak his truth. He needs to step into that power. He needs to step into his truth and act with, you know, integrity. Maybe instead of going back and forth, if that's the case for some of you, he's ending that cycle. He's choosing to act with integrity. Yeah, there's something about balance, you guys. We already had it with the compromise card here. It's like again, just wait and see, just, just wait and see. And again, it's not about waiting and putting your life on hold, but we've really got to wait and see because something is about ready to change for some of you out there. The, what I say, the miracle that sometimes miracles, what we pray for just literally miraculously comes to us. So whatever we've been praying for, for so long, may be changing. Within the next few weeks, people are making healthy choices because the feminine makes a healthy choice to take care of herself. It's like her masculine is making a healthy choice, mirroring that energy. But maybe weeks later, oh my gosh, maybe some of you have already made the healthy choice to step away. And this now is coming full circle. And we have peaceful warrior again, you know, this is about, yes, we're fighting for it, but we're doing it in a more peaceful way. We're in high vibrations fighting this. So again, it's not like her, it's not like the, the feminine is, you know, making some sort of ultimatums or manipulating the masculine by stepping away and doing things for this reason or that reason. No, the feminine is really stepping into that higher vibrational energy within herself. And because of that, it's like she's able to bring about these changes that are the best thing for the connection. I hope that that makes sense to you guys. I just see the feminine really, really prevailing here. Um, and if, if some of you have been in a dark energy for a while or just have kind of felt like, you know what, either this isn't going to go anywhere or I, I, I don't know, so, something like that. It's like something something's going to happen because you've decided to take care of you. You've decided to go into a healthier direction for yourself. And because of this, it's like the masculine mirrors this healthy energy. He mirrors this healthy connection. So I don't know. I'm just feeling it like I want to tap into these cards one more time just to basically see what spirit is talking about here with all of this. Okay, well, within the next few weeks, but now we have summer. And the summer is about sunshine and light. Oh, my. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. What the hell did I just say? Mirroring. I'm telling you. It's like the masculine is mirroring this higher vibrational energy because the feminine has taken things to that level. She's taken things to this higher vibrational state. And so the masculine wants to mirror with this. He wants to basically match this energy. 
<laughs> I swear, I was like thinking to myself, I wonder if the mirroring card's gonna come through and there it is, last card. The answer is no. What I'm seeing here is that where the answer was no before, the answer is no longer going to be no. Look at this energy here. We have all dried up and cracked and we have summer. Totally opposite energy. Whereas the masculine was saying no before, what I'm getting here, it's like the feminine may have been in a little bit of that lower vibrational energy, not for all of you, but maybe some of you have been in that dark place. And now that you've raised your vibration or you're going to, then the masculine is going to, to mirror this energy. So where he was saying no before, it's like he is saying yes. <laughs> so there is something pretty amazing here. But just to double check that energy, what is no? See, no longer willing to stay tied to something that no longer serves him. Oh my God, see, he is making a healthy choice to no longer stay bound in that situation. That's what it is. So it's no to, it's no, to no longer being a victim. It's no to, I no longer want to be stuck. I no longer want to be held hostage. I want to mirror this energy. Let's get to being happy. Let's get to this, you know, sunny vibrational or high vib vibrational place. I can't even talk. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. I love it. Okay. So anyways, you guys, to wrap up this whole reading, and I totally did not intend for it to be an hour. Holy crap. But I feel like spirit just kind of took us on this crazy ride where the masculine it really just showed was very stuck, or I guess I technically is stuck perhaps in a way of being, thinking, behavior, or because of other people as in a karmic situation, relationship, things like that. And the feminine throughout this reading has really decided, you know what? This is just something I'm not willing to unhealthily attach myself to anymore. And so she steps into the light. And because she does this, her energy shifts in such a significant way that now her masculine wants to get on board and make a healthy choice for himself. So it's kind of like the feminine is jumping first and then the masculine jumps after and follows suit. Wow. So anyways, I hope that wasn't too all over the place. Again, some of you may resonate with some of the messages. Others may resonate with other parts of this reading. And some of you may not resonate with it at all. It is totally fine. Just the point of this reading is to basically showcase to you that moving forward, I feel like things are going to be really positive in this connection as a whole for both people. You know, and of course, I'm a feminine myself, so I'm going to be a little bit more biased to say us feminines are going to be doing so much better moving into 2019. But I really do feel like the masculine is going to follow suit in the next few weeks. And that's why that next few weeks just came through at the very end of this reading. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for choosing to watch this video if you did and if you guys have gotten through this entire reading. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas tomorrow. Um, I guess it's Christmas Eve, but technically I celebrate Christmas Eve and Christmas Day um, with two sets of families. So I'm excited about that. I am posting a reading tomorrow. It is a small reading and it's a pick a card and it's just basically special messages from your angels. So it's a very high vibrational, uh, positive reading. Um, so if you guys want to watch that, go for it. If not, um, obviously next week, before the uh, end of the year, I will be bringing forth a reading that is going to be a forecast for the entire next year of 2019. I did this last year. It was definitely a lengthy video, but I really enjoyed it. This, this reading was very lengthy too. I mean, come on. But what I'm saying is that it's one of those videos where you can basically kind of check to see maybe after the video I'm sorry, after the reading comes through, it's kind of like you can go back throughout the year and go, oh, wow, you know, that, that resonated or that happened. It, it's kind of cool, you know, and others, you may not want to watch a reading like that because sometimes it's just best to just make your own, just go, go forth with your own energy and your own, your own life and whatever happens is going to happen. And some people don't want to check the energies that are coming through. So that's totally fine too. Anyways, all right, I'll shut up. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.